Syria has condemned joint U.S.-Turkish patrols in, north, in the northwest of the country as a flagrant violation of its sovereignty. Armed vehicles crossed the Turkish border on Sunday into an area that used to be controlled by U.S.-backed Kurdish forces. The U.S. and Turkey want to establish a safe zone in the area. Turkey is boosting its military presence along its border with Syria and is pushing displaced Syrians to return home. Jamal Shayal is in Hatay, near the Turkey-Syria border. The start of joint patrols between the U.S. and Turkish militaries are being seen as a positive uh, step. This because uh, both the Americans and the Turks were unable to see eye to eye as to how to operate uh, within Syria over the past uh, year or even uh, longer than that. Turkey uh, has always insisted that it needed to establish some sort of safe zone up until up to maybe 30 kilometers inside Syria, uh, essentially to ensure that there was a safe space for displaced Syrians. But uh, more importantly for Ankara, as it had uh, uh, um, uh, often said, was in order to ensure that it could target what it described as terrorist organizations, namely groups like ISIS, but also Kurdish separatists who had used that area to launch attacks against Turkey inside uh, uh, its own borders. Now, these patrols are still extremely limited. They're only in the first few kilometers within the Syrian side of the Turkey-Syria border. As I mentioned, Turkey wants to uh, go much deeper up to even the Euphra eastern side of the Euphrates River uh, inside Syria, the Americans have resisted that. Uh, what made things even more complicated is the fact that Washington has given uh, tactical support and, to, uh, according to some reports, even military support to some of these Kurdish groups that Turkey considers to be terrorist organizations. And that was one of the points of contention. But uh, as of uh, Sunday, the fact that these joint patrols have started uh, comes after uh, repeated threats by uh, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and the Turkish government that if uh, Turkey is not allowed to establish this safe zone, it would have no choice but to open the borders and allow for uh, even more uh, Syrian refugees to flee the bombardment that continues to target civilian uh, areas inside Syria. Well, Joshua Landis is the director of the Center for Middle East Studies at the University of Oklahoma and president of the Syria Studies Association. He joins us via Skype now from Norman in Oklahoma. Good to speak, you, speak with you again, uh, Joshua. So just to explain to us, uh, what, what is the motivation for both the, the U.S. And, and Turkey in trying to set up this safe zone? Well, the United States has tried to avoid this uh, as long as it could. But Turkey has considerable leverage, and it's a very important member of NATO. The United States does not want to lose it. And Erdogan, over the last year, has threatened a number of things. One, to release refugees into Europe, uh, and Europe is very fearful of that, to develop nuclear, um, nuclear capabilities, <clears throat> to invade and uh, and this has you know frightened the United States because the United States is staying in Syria for two main reasons: one, to destroy ISIS, and two, to roll back Iran. And with this agitation, it has distracted the Kurds in northern Syria from their role of fighting ISIS. It also has given Iran and other countries a uh, a leg to stand on in the region because Turkey is a an important partner for them if Turkey is alienated from the United States. And, and there's, there's potential f for friction there, isn't there, in the, in the fact that the U.S. has been backing these uh, Kurdish forces uh, in, in northern Syria because they're the only, uh, aside from the U.S., the only viable force that, is, that has been fighting um, ISIL. And, and the Turks, for their part, uh, don't, want, don't want them to get a presence in northern Syria. No, you know, the United States had promised that as soon as they defeated ISIS, they would turn over all the, they would take back all their heavy weapons from the Kurdish forces. So uh, the Turks are feeling particularly bitter that the United States has changed the bar, has raised the bar considerably. So are the Syrians and the Iranians, Russians, others who are all, all have an interest in getting the United States out. And for that reason, the United States has to keep the Turks sweet. It has to keep them um, cooperating. And 
expand this zone. But as we heard in your report, the Turks have only a very small zone right now. They're going to continue to pressure the United States to broaden it out and to set up um, to set up roadblocks to begin to inspect who's coming through. They want the YPG, the Kurdish forces, out of there. Good to speak with you, uh, as always. Joshua Landis uh, there uh, in Norman, Oklahoma. Thanks for being with us. Pleasure.